Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is Auto Jeff Reviews. Please hit subscribe right now if you're new. Thanks to Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh, we have to evaluate a 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5. This is the SE. I'm going to show you everything that I think is really cool about this one and why it's one of the hottest EVs on the market. Over the course of this video, I'll do it in chapter form, we're going to look at the amazing, really cool retro yet modern styling. We're going to look at performance and charging time. And we're going to look at the interior that has more space, it's bigger, it's cooler than you ever thought it might be. Let's talk about pricing and trim levels first. The Ionic 5 has three trim levels, starting with the SE that you see here, the SEL, and then the Limited. SE starts around 44,000, then 46, I think 250 for the SEL, 51.1 for the Limited. Let's start our tour. We're gonna walk around this thing. We can see the back, and you're gonna see pixels similar to an Adam Sandler movie or an old Atari game. It's really cool. Somehow they found a way to make that which is retro into that which is modern and cutting edge and so unique you might just not be able to look away my friends look at the wheels looks like a throwing star and then here yeah we've got more pixels baby oh look at that all right so let's start by picking it apart ionic 5 comes in either rear wheel drive or all-wheel drive. This one's all-wheel drive. I'm gonna tell you about performance differences between RWD and AWD. There's a big difference in power and rate plane. Let's start by looking under the hood so we can tell engine performance. Wait, it's an EV. That's right, no gasoline engine. EV, electric vehicle, baby. Open it, maybe we'll see the engine. No, this is the frunk, the front trunk space so you can put things in here and then if we want to know where the goods are where are the electric components right in here so this is unique what does it do for power if we go with rear wheel drive it'll give you 225 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque but if you go with all wheel drive that's where you get more gusto more chops 320 horsepower 446 pound feet of torque it flies. I've been looking around here. I don't see a spot to put gasoline, so I guess we're gonna have to use electric, which is the only option, by the way. Let's open it up. Oh, let's close it. Look at the pixels here. It's all about pixels. Oh, so that'll show you how you're doing as far as charging. Several different ways to charge this thing. I would suggest either a level two, 240 volt, I would suggest a level three charger or the ultra fast charger. But basically with the supplied 120 volt cable, plane's coming, but we're going on. Plug it in. Plug it in to your charging station. That was a loud plane. But anyway, this will tell you charging times, how long. An upgraded level two charger that you can install in your home or work, that goes from 10% charge to 100% charge in about six hours and 43 minutes. That sounds pretty specific. If you upgrade to the level three charger that you're gonna plug in, that's most public stations, that can go from 10 to 80% charge in 25 minutes. But if you go with the ultra fast charging, woo, this is top of the totem pole, baby. Next level stuff. I can't even believe it. It goes from 10 to 80% charge in 18 minutes. That is so fast. Continue on your road trip. Now here we've got 19 inch alloy wheels. And this is interesting because it's not like a multi-spoke pattern. It is dominated by gloss black. I mean, it is everywhere. Throwing star, right? It's 235, 55R19, and we've got these nice metallic silver accents here. It's beautiful with that Hyundai logo, showing proud like a phoenix, ready to rise from the ashes. And this car is hot in the EV market. Hard to find, and there's a reason why. This thing is really cool, full of surprises. Let's take a look at the side profile features, and then we'll go to the front, and then we'll go to the back. We got a whole system here, guys. It's got matte black over fenders with these little cut lines in here look like a saw blade to me really cool and then look with this we've got this whoa, shoo, we got this chopped line right down the diagonal 
it really, really sets it up because how could you not see the lines here, my friends? And we've got more lines here accenting the lower panels. Now, look at this. Oh, very cool. I think I'll keep doing that. That's neat. Again, since we're dominated by pixels, look at that. And as we go to the front, let's just get one more look here. Man, that is something else. It's so unique. Now looking at the front, we're gonna see this bold cut line here. Look at the thickness of that line. And it all presents itself right in the front. We've got metallic accents here, along with these pixelated LED lights. We got turn signals. Turn signals on the Limited are different from what you see on the LE, which is kind of unique to me. Let's look at it in the dark. So yeah, how about this view? Oh, look, there's the turn signal down below. What do you think, you like it? All right, so let's back this up so that you can see what the lights look like. We'll put on our flashers too. And if you can tell, it's beeping because I'm getting close to my camera. Impressive, right? Now what can we see here? We've seen lights, we've got pixelated lights here. There's a lot going on and we've got some gloss black along with silver metallic accents here too. We've got some leaves we need to pull out of here and then we've got parking sensors. How do we open this up? Backup camera. Oh, when we look inside the vehicle, you're gonna see a lot more storage space than you think you've got. A lot more passenger space than you think you've got. Ionic 5. Ooh, we got a plane coming. You guys wanna see it? FedEx. So what is in here? Well, it's a good place to store some things. Got our charger. Looks like a first aid kit. That's a net in there. And then what about these seats? What are we gonna do about them? Let's pop on in here and see, I'm five foot eight. I can lay across here. If you're diagonal, this could be an overnight camping thing. You could fit, pile up a blanket, some pillows, and we're good to go. Now it's not the tallest, but I can still do this, barely. I'm scratching my head like an elephant on a tree. <laughs> All right, so this is the space. What do you think? Next I'm gonna show you passenger space, but look here. Because of the platform that it uses, the EGMP platform, it allows the vehicle to have a flat surface all the way around and it's so easy for legroom, headroom, shoulder room. So much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So let's get in. Look at all this space. And I've set them up where one's a little bit more forward, a little bit more vertical. This one's a little bit more back. But look at this space. And I can adjust my seat. I don't want to do that. But I can do that, that, that. Very, very nice, and it opens up a lot more headroom, although there's plenty for me. Again, I'm five foot eight. Look at the space, and look, I can go all the way across. The seats are comfortable. This nice, feels like durable, yet really padded fabric. Oh, these are nice seats. They're firm, but you can feel the softness in them. Yeah, I like that. We've got some nets here. Oh, and we'll go through again, because we want to see everything there is to see. That's really firm. It's not very thick, but I think it would do the job. And then we've got latches for child safety seats, bottle holders, nice thick bottle holders. This is a hard surface here, so it's not soft touch. Boy, we've got plug-in power here. And look at the color scheme. It's light with dark. It really opens things up in here. And I do appreciate the visibility that you see here. 
look at that nice big windows I don't think you'll have too many problems with blind spots hey what's that look at those screens we've got matching 12 inch screens talk about futuristic right they're raised up a little bit so they're safer because of limited distraction let's turn it off and then we're going to turn it back on so freaking cool all right so let's take a look at some of these displays here watch this turn signals you actually can turn on the lights here and it tells you exactly where you stand. What about the wipers? Let's go over here. Look at that. Okay, turn off. We could change our drive modes. Sport, better acceleration, it's red. Eco, of course that's better efficiency. Normal, there's normal driving. I'd probably have it in eco, honestly, if I'm buying a vehicle like this. 229 miles of charge we've got on this thing very cool we're in eco mode and also these ones right here this is the braking you can actually store power regenerate power by pushing those and it'll break you to restore power back in here to use again very cool all of our safety features right here passenger does not have a power operated seat but we can raise this up as we raise the roof as well. Raise the roof. All right, so we can go actually quite a bit up, quite a bit down, and then recline all the way, and then quite a bit of slide movement as well. So that's cool. This one here got good space. Of course, this one's reclined though, but I can go forward I can go backward, I can go up, I can go down. I can twist it. It's like a bop it, pull it, bop it, twist it. We can recline and then I have lumbar support right here as well. How is the seat for me? Again, it's firm, but you can feel the padding in it. Lots of padding. Boy, that is nice. Yeah, I really like this seat actually. It wraps around me right here. It supports me on my lower back too. And I have some tender lower back issues sometimes. Oh yeah, that's nice. And this one doesn't hurt you. It's not too forward facing the headrest here. Yeah, that's a good spot. What can we do with the steering wheel now? In, out, up, down, upside down you're turning me the steering wheel reflectively again we've got nice bottle holder i just love the color scheme of this it would be ideal for what i would get magnetic right here i don't know what we could put but we could put something magnetic right that is pretty impressive oh i found a magnet holla look at that what and then look at that steering wheel it's oblong it's very cool of course you're supposed to be at the 10 and 2 or 9 and 3 positions but you could easily put one hand or two hands down here as well i love that all right so what else are we looking at here let's just look at the pixels in the seats because that is a theme i'm sure hyundai would want me to point out all the pixels they're everywhere man everywhere all right, so what do we got here? We've got USBs, and then in here, a little bit of storage space, no holder here. And that can also go up. All right, I like that. And then down here, we've got USB-A, 12 volt power port. We've got lots of storage in here. Could put baby Grogu in there. All right, yeah, yeah, baby. And then we've got temperature controls. We can do the map. Look, and it takes up the whole screen. That's important these days. Navi. Mm. We can tune. We've got our camera. 
Ooh. I like the tone too. Bink. Let's look a little closer. I just really want to push that button so I hear bink, bink, bink. 87% battery life, 228 miles. If the air is on, if the air is off, we get more. Let's go back. Climb it. All right. <laughs> that is so weird. What a unique way of doing things. That's so funny. I like that. Let's go back. All right. The heated seats right here. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. All right. See, we're learning here. Okay. So we've got to change it to guest mode, navigation menu, phone. Cancel that. It's got a quiet mode. Look at that. It's only in the front seats. So anyway, those are some things just to show you what's available in this vehicle. There's so much to see, obviously. We could go on and on and on. On and on, on and on. Not an auto dimming rear view mirror. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. We've got lighted mirrors but it's not when it opens, you have to push that. And then, does it have a slider? Yeah, it does. Do I have to show you a plane again? Ugh. Southwest. Let's go for just a little drive. I just want to get a feel for this one and we can see how it is here. All right, look at that. We've got our mileage to go and let's put it into drive just like that. Now watch this. Now we can see in front of us up to a certain speed. It's so quiet. Put it into eco mode. I wanna see how fast this thing is. It's so quiet. Let's go this way. I'm gonna put it into sport mode. So we're going to change the drive mode here. Let's do a little zero to whatever here. See what happens. We ready? Set, go. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> Woo! that was so fast. Let's try this one more time. I was honestly caught off guard. Holy bleep. Wow. That was so incredibly quick. That shocked me. Not that you'd use it like that, but wow. All right, so let's look at the window stickers so we can see a little bit more about this. The Ionic 5 SE all wheel drive. This is phantom black with the gray, gray interior here. That is so interesting. And then, now this is MPG-E because it's not gasoline, it's not MPG. That's when you combine gasoline, electric, things like that. It tells you the combined energy. So we've got 98 combined, MPG-E, 110 in the city, 87 on the highway, 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. And then the charge time, it says 8.5 hours, 240 volt. That's different from what I saw, but that's what this particular one says here. 256 miles because it's all wheel drive. All right, so let's come over here. Standard features, look at the warranty information. You can stop the video anytime you want to if that would help you research the vehicle more. Look at all of the safety features in there. There's just no time to tell you everything in here. It's got the 10.9 kilowatt onboard charger, the single speed reduction gear, 
regenerative brake level control paddles that I was telling you about. The 19 inch alloy aero wheels. Whoa, look at all that LED going on there, folks. And then here, this is all the convenience features on the inside. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. Very neat. Let's look at pricing. So when we get everything added in here, $47,150. We've got carpet mats, cargo net, cargo tray, first aid kit. With freight, puts it at $48,770. Brand new. To check out their inventory, go to KiaOfRaleigh.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit subscribe if you're new. I want you to be part of my thorough and hopefully entertaining reviews. I just don't like boring car reviews. We got to mix it up with songs, movies, TV shows, whatever we got, every tool in the toolbox. What do you think of Ionic 5? Is this a vehicle that you would consider? What do you think about the pricing? Would you get the SE or do you think you want more options on it to get all the way up to the limited? I've done a review. You'll be seeing that at the end. I'll put it as a suggested video, SE. Ionic 5 against limited Ionic 5. Wait until you see how limited is equipped. You'll see that at the end very shortly. Thanks guys so much. I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews. See you guys next time. Woo, we're out. Thank you for watching. Please click the suggested videos. I think you might find them entertaining, fun, and hopefully very informative, especially Ionic 5 SE versus limited.